is going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. And uh, you are looking at a Curiosity rover shot. This is from Saw 1100. If you watched my last video, it was from a similar Saw. We're just looking a little bit more down down towards where we wanted to go from the beginning. I do believe we're looking at some of the hills that lead up to the mountain. Um, all sorts of stuff in this picture. Well, all sorts of what look like covered buildings to me. I'm going to let you keep it. Pyramidal shapes, um, stuff like you see out of Mexico, um, even in Egypt, the, the similar type structures. Everything here seems to be uh, just covered with soot, of course. And then you've got the front side of this image as well. I think there's some obfuscation going on here. This, is, this isn't exactly how it came. Let me show you how it came. Um, and where you get it from as always I always provide the link below all you have to do is click down below what I've done is just given it a little bit of auto color and then brought out some some issues but here's the actual there it is from NASA it's not actually the color is not that bad in it but it still has that fake look to the top look at the look at the boxiness up here in the uh, in the sky that's from the JPEG artifacts they save these things at 70% so you really can't zoom in pretty far into these and get you know a good idea what this stuff is so you want to stay back a little bit on it um, maybe some of this stuff down here which is kind of interesting see how we've got let me flip this over to this see how we've got some um, interesting stone formations for sure there's like a s strange looking piece over here and that could be just pixelization coming out but to me that uh it's a little far off but you never really know from from these images Check out, as always, the where these blurs are and these blocks seem to be pretty much straight across. So it looks like what's ever between here and there. And it could just be them changing the perspective of it. Um, I, I, for one, think that a lot of this stuff gets changed by NASA, but through the rover, through software. Um, but who really knows? If we're getting stuff back that looks like it's been changed... And stuff looks to be cut out. I mean, it, wouldn't you say that? Look at the block, the blockiness that just runs right through this whole thing. It comes right here. And this is what I'm talking about, JPEG artifacts. This right here is a good example of some right here. They, they basically save their files at 70%, which puts this stuff in there, especially for the distance stuff. So all we can really make from here is just the shape of it, the general shape, especially because it's a little bit far off in the distance. But with that general shape, you can make some pretty amazing uh, assumptions here. Let me see. Let me grab my line tool. That this thing is pretty, pretty solid. Check this thing out. I mean, it's uh, when looking at it like this and coming across, it looks like it's got a top to it over here. It's just kind of, kind of jammed out, but it comes down on an angle. This side comes out here on an angle. Um, almost looks like we're catching it on a corner same and it looks like this thing here has the same angle so if we're talking about naturally you know natural stuff or you're thinking maybe possibly stuff that was placed there over time um, this would interest me because the angles seem to be the same even up here they come down like that they come down over here this this shape here seems to have been more domed than the other ones and you would think that if it was, uh, you know, water or, or wind that caused most of these, you know, actually there. To me, it looks like we're looking across where there used to be water. And we're looking at structures. Now, look up here, too, into these into these pieces up here. And you can't get too close to them because once you start getting really close, you're pulling it out of, uh, you know, you're pulling it. You're just trying to pull too much from the JPEG file. Let me go ahead and move these back off of there so many things it's amazing how how these images are coming back though i mean it's definitely you could tell that that we're in we're in the area now it's like drive the rover up the hill i got an interesting theory from uh, a couple people lately mars uh well my buddy chris over mars anomalies was talking about how possibly they might be a month behind on the images and he's not the first person that said that to me and uh, other people think the same thing and they've given me actually you know reasons and show me overhead pictures where we should be at times and where we're not now see how this stuff all oops i'm in the wrong let me undo that check this out once again where this seems to be blurred out and it looks to be obfuscated see how it's all done in lines look at that 
if you can run the line right, see how it's clear right here, it's clear right here, it's clear. Then right about here, it drops down another step. So if this was like a actual, just a different color mound, you don't think it would actually, you know, you think it would make a nice sloping line down. So we're to believe that everything right here was out of focus or something here was manipulated. That's what I'm led to believe, at least. If you can check out here, this thing does the exact same thing as it goes up. See this right here? And this is in the original, too. It just, just isn't in... You can, see, you can see the blockiness here in the original. So something's been covering this up. And once again, it's so perfectly blocked out. That's where I start thinking it's the actual rover that's doing it, whether it's doing it on purpose or whether it's just part of the optics. We've seen crystal clear pictures from the mask cam plenty of times so far. And uh, not anymore. We just see a blurry mess. Like here you get some interesting stuff and there's just some blur. Let's go back over to here and take a look at our rock hill because this, this has got some distance to it. And uh, this looks like a pile of just what would be at the bottom where there'd be water that just kind of moves stuff around. Here, these two things definitely, I'm going to bring them up. I'm going to bring it in, which really, like I said, where, let me do the black and white one just to get the color the color out of it because the color see how much the color messes with you do the different filters that are on it look at the difference there hopefully you guys can see that but pretty interesting shaping to it you got my w right here that's most likely in the uh pixelization but you never know because if you look right there there looks like a w but up here looks like the z or an s a backward s right there well actually no it's not it's just it's it's backward z or s let's see and see how it it does seem to be this this for here seems to be behind it this is a little bit closer it's hard to get the perspective on a lot of this stuff though especially with how it seems they when they start adding the those straight lines and everything it starts throwing off what's in the distance and what's not but pretty cool here check out the uh look at these look like square blockings looks like actually a stepping stone or something over here you got some interesting pieces of it and this just could, look at this right here, it almost looks like a crossed over piece. Um, interesting area, to say the least. And when you add the color, everything just goes goes haywire. Over here, you kind of have, uh, like I said, the, like out of all the places, just see how there's like this little blurs added everywhere, but here it's just really obvious. That's why, it's, you know, you wonder, okay, there's all this beautiful pieces up here. And of course, if you go outside and take an image with a, you know, your camera, this stuff is starting to look more fake to me every day. Almost like a, it's being done by a digital, you know, a digital landscape or something. I hate to say that, but um, especially as we've gotten really close here, I, I expected this stuff to be pretty crystal clear. And that pit, that's, look at it, it's in there. You can see where the, it looks like there's been tampering through here. And it, what they do is when they save it at 70%, it, 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 it gives them the out to say, oh, well, that's just the pixelization, the lossy format that JPEGs are saved in. They're not saved in high quality, which they're not raw. These aren't the images that come down from it. I know that. Um, there's got to be better quality of the images here. Now, if you get the Molly images, the Molly cam, those shots seem to be saved at 90%, 95%. These are saved at 70 At least that's uh, what Photo Forensics says. Check out just here in the foreground the, uh, the the rectangle nature of this right here. It looks like it's got some pieces. And then it just dis it kind of slides right off and disappears into nothing. I don't know, guys, but tell me what. This would be a pretty nice view. If you were sitting on Mars, you want to set up camp or set up your little home. If this was water, I almost wish I could uh, flood the area with, with something just to see what it would look like with water here, which almost looks like something was, like I said, this looks like it was heavily changed right here the more and more I look at it. Um, which is interesting. If you checked like the these mass cam shots that shoot off into the distance, there's so much difference between those and the shots of the, the nav cam and the ones that are right up on these rocks over here and and, and pointed down um, here you've got what looks like some rocks just kind of thrown in a pile like strewn out right there but to me the big thing here is to look at the the looks like architecture over there I mean it looks like buildings that were built um, I've been to Arizona I've been all over the United States and seen amazing uh, 
rock features and stuff. And a lot of times you'll have them, but they won't be so similar and they won't seem to be as laid out as this area seems to be. This seems to be yeah, almost like you've got a main road that comes down here. And we've been looking at this stuff forever. If you go back and look at buildings on the, you know, I just type in civilization on Mars, you're going to see this off in the distance. Um, the rover had a much clearer shot. So you, either 1,100 days has done so much damage to the mass cam or we're, something's being hidden from us here. Um, and I usually tend to, to take both into effect, but something's being hidden. Pretty amazing, though. Either way, like I said, uh, not much we can get out of this. This is a lot of pixelization on this stuff for here, except you can see the overall, overall, it looks like Uncle Jake's junkyard, just stuff strewn about everywhere. Then it looks like here you've been obfuscated. It's even got straight lines and then up into beautiful Mars. I wish we could just take the rover and drive right up here and up into this area. And let's take a look at what these are, because these things up here all have peaks. Just like these down here, where you've got your your geometry in it, um, all these do too. I mean, if you look at the lines here, check oop, right through there, um, through here, up into there. Um, really interested to see what that looks up there. But we are going to make it there. Hopefully, the rover, the, the wheels are still looking pretty bad. But this this would not be hard to cross. But th there's no scale to this. So this stuff could be really right in our face or it could be pretty far off, depending on how, how the rover's taking the image. Now, let's look at this one piece down here. I, I was trying to check this one rock out. Just kind of looked pretty interesting sitting out there. Um, not much to it when you come in with this resolution but all right guys once again let me show you right how it came from nasa directly from them still looks like some pretty good landscape looks like they really worked hard whoever it was there so all right guys much love to you what's up in the sky 37 come check out the website www.whatsupinthesky.com the forums like off the hook so there's all sorts of good posts in there i gotta go in there and get some new moon videos and some other things i've been waiting to do also gonna get together a comment show where i'm gonna just reply to some of your guys comments and and questions that we have on the youtube channel the even everywhere on the Facebook pages and the groups. Uh, there's all sorts of good stuff people have said. I'm going to put that together for you. So, And as always, so many more pictures to come. The, the Keep sending me your stuff. Will at WillFerrar.net. You guys rock and roll. Much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. Let's see. How long do we make this one? Where are we at? And we are at 12 minutes and 40 seconds. Not too bad. All right, guys. Much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. Peace.